Hey everybody, how you doing? Out here shooting again today. While we're at it, I figured we'd do another video and do another cinder block comparison test. The nine millimeter versus the 45. We've done several of these tests. After this video, if you wanna check them out, go ahead. You might be amazed by some of the results. But today, we've got the nine millimeter versus the 45. Really, logically speaking, there's no comparison. The only real argument between the two is capacity. Today we've got 230 grain ball ammo versus 115 grain ball ammo. We're gonna see what happens. If you've seen some of the other videos, you might have a good idea what will happen between the nine millimeter and the 45. Go ahead and put in the comments down below what you think is gonna to happen to these cinder blocks. Are either of them gonna go through the first wall, the second wall? Are they both gonna turn the cinder block to dust? Put down in the comments down below what you think is gonna happen. To keep this test as consistent as possible, we're shooting both the 45 and the nine millimeter in Winchester white box, and also both out of high point firearms. So we've got the high point model JHP 45, and then the high point model C9 in nine millimeter. Nine millimeter are the 115 grains, the 45s are the 230 grains, like I said. Nine millimeter versus 45 full metal jacket. I think the nine millimeter is probably gonna go through the first wall of the cinder block. I think that the 45 is gonna do the same. So my guess is that both of them will go through the first wall, hit that second wall of the cinder block and fall down, stop. Let's see what happens. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I got the GoPro camera set up right in front of those cinder blocks. I'm gonna pick up the high point nine millimeter, shoot three rounds at the one on the left, and I'm gonna pick up the 45, shoot three rounds at the one on the right, and we're gonna see what happens. So, nine millimeter first, 115 grain Winchester white box. Also, it's worth mentioning, I'm shooting from about seven yards here. second shot split the center block in half and knocked my GoPro down. So I'm gonna set that back up and take the third and final shot. Now for the high point 45. I'm gonna switch sides here so I don't shoot my GoPro. Just one shot with the 45. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the results so I don't completely blow that sucker apart just to show you guys what happened. So, first, we took two shots with the nine millimeter and kind of split this first cinder block apart. And let me show you here. After the first shot, this nine millimeter was sitting somewhere about like that. The second shot, completely split the back end open and the third shot just took a little bit more off the top I think so something to that effect so the nine millimeter definitely blasted through the back wall after two shots for the 45 you can see there's the entry hole this piece was laying down like that so just after one shot the 45 completely let me put it back together here like a puzzle you can look at the back side there, putting the front piece back like it was. You can see how much is missing out of the back wall there just after one shot. I'd say pretty inconclusive results. They both blew the back wall out, but the 45 obviously did a lot more damage just with one shot. Always fun to be shooting random targets. Let me know what you guys think. Do you carry a nine millimeter or a 45? And let me know which one and why you choose to carry those firearms. I wanna give a shout out and a big thank you to Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors for helping making this video possible. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. As always, down below, leave comments for future video ideas. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hootie hoo!